subscribe to gizmo times and get notified about our latest videos by hitting the bell icon hey guys welcome to gizmo times this is chetan and this is the one plus seven pro smartphone uh, that came with the snapdragon 855 chipset and it has the latest android os that's android 9 pi and obviously the oxygen os that's the custom interface from uh, OnePlus which is quite similar to the uh, regular stock Android but it has its own customizations and possibilities. So this video is a part of the series of tips and tricks and the first part would be about all the gesture features and the button options that you can change. So under settings if you go into the button and gesture features these are the options that you find. So under the button and gestures the first one is the alert slider. Alert slider is something that was uh, uh, one of the things from uh, OnePlus from its first phone and it has been uh, offering that in different positions but uh, still it offers that for uh, one of the good uses so you have the alert slider on the right of the phone this is the alert slider button which has uh, three clicks uh, so the first one is for uh, silent and one is for vibrate and third one is for ring you have the different options for them again if you are under silent you have uh, alarms and media so you can uh, choose to turn off the media uh, playing uh, music whenever you have, have it on a silent or you can keep it on and a vibration you have uh, alarms which will always ring so one thing about uh, these uh, the alert slider is that you never would see the alarms to be turned into silent alarms are something that would be as an exception and it would always ring that now moving to the next one uh, these are the navigation bar and gesture features so under the navigation bar and gesture features uh, there are different options so firstly let's not talk about the uh, customization first let's talk about what are the different things that you can do with the uh, navigation bar so here are the things uh, first is uh, back home and recent so this is the default way of how you see the navigation buttons towards the bottom that's uh, the uh, back home and uh, recent now you can change that to the back and home where you'll see one horizontal bar and one back button. So horizontal bar can be used either to go back home or you can use it to pull it up and go to the recent uh, menu. Uh, so that is one way of doing that. And uh, now third one is the navigation gestures. Navigation gestures are a bit based on the Android 9 Pi and these gestures are for someone who already knows about how to use them or you can quickly learn them. But again, uh, they'll need a bit of a understanding and a learning curve. So here's how you can do that. Firstly, if you pull up, it will go to the home. If you pull it up and pause, it would take you to the recent menu. And now if you are into any uh, area on the settings or any app, to go back, you can uh, swipe up from either the left or right. So if you swipe it up here, it will go back. I'll go back to the same area again and swipe it up from the right. So that is how you can go back by swiping from either of the areas, either the left or right. And there are other options as well, like switching to the previous app. Now I'll open a couple of apps here. Uh, one is the camera app and one is... Uh, the gallery so these are the different apps that are open now i can actually pull this up and pause and now go to the left so this is how you can uh, take take you yourself to the uh, previous app uh, so that is a way of doing it i would usually prefer the back home and uh, recent because you already have quite a lot of space on the screen that's uh, more than 6.6 uh, inch and uh, you can easily use these buttons as a uh, space towards the bottom but in case you are someone who wants uh, a larger real estate on the screen you can actually use the navigation gestures if you are comfortable with them Next one is the bar navigation bar customization. So under customization, you can always swap the buttons. So this is for those users who have come from a phone like a Samsung one, because in Samsung, what happens is the back button is always on the right. And on the other phones like the Huawei or Honor phones, these are on the left. Uh, so if you're from uh, the Huawei or Honor phones, you can uh, keep these as they are. Or if you're coming from a Samsung phone to a OnePlus one, you can swap the buttons from here and you see the back button going towards the right and the recent key going, uh, going towards the left. So that is one way of doing it. Next is hiding the navigation bar. So this is this won't hide it always. There's an option that comes towards the left of uh, the navigation bar. So here's this option. So uh, once you tap on that, the navigation bar actually gets hidden. You can pull it up from the bottom and it would show it. And again, tapping on that would keep it there permanently. So this is for again, uh, someone who uh, doesn't want to use the navigation gestures. They still want the navigation bar there, but you can choose to keep them hidden or uh, keep them shown there based on this small tap uh, that is uh, present on the left of the navigation bar. Next is the home button options or the recent buttons. So every button there has uh, multiple customization options uh, that are possible. So if you're going to the home button, long press uh, action would open the search assistant. You can actually use any of that uh, turn off screen. Double tap action would uh, now we can choose something like a notification center. So I'll show you how uh, the home button would work here. 
firstly if you are going to the home uh, uh, you can tap directly on the home button to uh, go to the home screen now double tap on that it would open the not notification panel now if you press on the home button for long it would turn off the screen for you so this is just for the home button that we did right now you can do the same for the recent button as well as for the back button so that's a good thing about customization of the navigation buttons so in a way again this is one way where i feel that navigation gestures are not as good as uh, the regular navigation bar because you get the extra functionality here now going back there are uh, quick gestures there's a big list of quick gestures actually so first thing is flip to mute so this we can't give a demo of it right now but if, if you get a call and you can just flip the device that would mute the call uh, so if you're in a meeting and you don't want to uh, keep the ringtone playing there you can actually flip the device and it would mute the call next is a three finger screenshot the regular screenshot is always as usual uh, using the physical buttons that's power and uh, volume down so you can use that to take a screenshot but then you can use a three finger screenshot where swipe the three fingers on the screen to take a screenshot. So I'll take I'll show you a demo of that three fingers and that takes a screenshot. So this is easier actually. Uh, it's actually in a way much easier because you can do it from bottom to top and top to bottom and it would take the screenshot on any screen actually. Uh, then there's answers answer calls by gesture. So this is another thing where in case you're getting a call and if you take the phone close to your ears this would actually pick up the call for you. You don't have to uh, swipe on that call button and uh, take uh, take the call. You can take the phone near your ear, which would indicate uh, uh, the sensor that uh, there is something blocking the sensor, which means the phone is close to the ear and then the call is answered. Now, these are uh, some other options. One is double tap to wake. So I always love this option. I had turned this off just to give you a demo. Now turning it on, double tap to wake is this. So double tap on the screen and it would wake the screen for you. Music control is something that again is a good one where you can, uh, these, are, these are all screen screen off gestures. So whenever the screen is off, uh, drawing uh, with two lines would actually play or pause the music for you. Drawing the left or right directions would uh, play the previous and next tracks. And these are the different again screen gestures uh, that are screen off gestures. Uh, turn off uh, flashlight with drawing O. Uh, by drawing V, we can uh, open anything. That's uh, open camera with draw, drawing V. Uh, by drawing S, we can actually Mm, open the front camera so let me show you all the demos here first one is by drawing O this is drawing O it would start the flashlight for you now drawing O would turn off the flashlight now drawing V would start the camera and now again turning it off now drawing S will start the front facing camera here so that's that's a good uh, way of actually using the screen of gestures if you don't want to go into the home screen then opening the apps or any shortcuts you can actually use the screen of gestures which work quite well this was the first time try with did and it worked quite well you don't have to do it multiple times just doing it once would actually work it for you uh, so it's a very easy way of uh, using the gestures and controlling your phone so these are all the screen of gestures and uh, there are a couple of other options as well which is to quickly turning on camera but that needs the power button setup and that is under the emergency rescue features last one is quick activate the assistant app Hold the power button for 0.5 seconds to activate the assistant app and 3 seconds to power off the phone. So this is uh, one way of doing it. So uh, assistants again are different. You can use the Google Assistant or any other if you want to choose one of them. So here's how you can do it. 0.5 seconds, it would open the assistant for you. And uh, the same way if you are actually you, uh, uh, pressing the power button for 3 seconds, it would not open the Google Assistant. It would take you to the power off options. So these are the options here. Now going into the emergency, this is the emergency that you can uh, use from there. Or... Uh, so this is multiple taps of emergency. It would actually go you to the emergency rescue feature. So these are the different button and gesture features on the OnePlus 7 Pro uh, having the Android 9 Pi and the Oxygen OS. Let me show you the Oxygen OS version here because things keep changing from time to time. And for now, this is on the Oxygen OS 9.5.4. So in case there's a huge update and if we want to see uh, things that are changed we might do a video later on it and show you uh, on what has changed and uh, whether any navigation feature or the gesture features have been added or removed from here but for now these were the things uh, for a better customization of your phone for a better usage and a better experience on the OnePlus 7 Pro. So this is the part one of the series. We'll be doing a camera tips and tricks, gaming tips and tricks and the other tips and tricks of the OnePlus 7 Pro. So keep checking the channel for that on the tips and tricks section of our channel. And I hope you like this video. If you did like, do share and subscribe to Kishnans for more. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.